My name is Courtney Shallow. I'm a holistic health counselor with Your Life in Balance. Today I'm going to talk about how to keep a food diary. The materials you'll need for a daily food diary are a pen or a pencil, a piece of paper, access to the internet. Um, you can pull up a website such as www.myfooddiary.com. First, you will want to um, do what would suit for you. Get a personal notebook. Um, there's all kinds of different websites that you can go into and keep track. Or you can even go on um, an iPhone if you happen to have an iPhone and there's different apps for that. So it's just a great way to be accountable for what it is that you're eating on a daily basis. That way you can see if you're eating too much grains maybe or too much protein or even too much sugar and just really be accountable for everything that you're putting into your body. Um, now what I like to suggest when keeping a daily food diary is to also um, take a look at the emotional and the physical um, feelings that you feel after eating that food. Maybe say an hour you know, or so after eating. Um, because I say too much wheat makes you feel tired, bloated, you know, a little sluggish, then you're going to want it to incorporate, you know, something else in place of um, that wheat product, say a fruit smoothie or some carrot sticks. I mean, some people can really, you know, eat high fat and, and be okay because, you know, there's some fats that are good fats. Some people can really thrive off a lot of carbohydrates or a lot of protein. It's just really figuring out, paying attention by keeping a daily diary and figuring out your needs that suit you best. You'll definitely want to include everything from beverages to snacks to your meals. Um, that way you can look and see where your food's coming from, how your food is being eaten, when it's being eaten. You know, that's another important um, aspect is keeping track of the time in which you eat. Including calories is easier these days because in most cases, you know, the, the ingredients and the, um, the nutritional information is going to be on the side label. Um, you know, unfortunately, no, we don't want to, to gather the, um, the majority of our foods from prepackaged foods, but what also makes it accessible to find out, you know, calories and fat content, carbohydrates, protein, and all your um, essential vitamins and nutrients is you can simply Google um, a produce, you know, an apple, for example, or a banana, you know, you know, that has 100 calories. And that's how you keep a daily food diary.